Shields up, Iron Breakers. Rick on here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting a phone call here. Hello? Hello? I'm trying to reach Mr. Rurikan. Speaking? Oh, very well then. I'd like to know why in bloody hells you haven't beaten the second major boss of this game yet. What in the hell are you doing just wasting your time fiddling around in the map, exploring and doing crazy side things instead of focusing on the main bloody quest? I'm just trying to have some fun. I don't have to listen to this. What the hell? It's like, imagine that. Imagine that. It's like just trying to have some fun in Elden Ring. Some freaking rando going over here is like, oh, why, why can't you just beat the second boss? I'll beat the second boss when I'm goddamn well and ready. Thank you very much. Hung up on his ass. Anyway, uh, before, uh, in, in the last episode, I said that I was going to go do uh, this thing which is the manor, but before we started recording this one, I was just like exploring, I was trying to find out a couple of different things, like how the hell do I even get up here, which I still haven't figured out, and please don't tell me in the comments, I will very much appreciate figuring that out, figuring that out by myself, and I went over to this uh, thingamajig here, the bird's eye, uh, what's it called, bird's eye telescope, and I noticed that there was an island here with a bonfire, and as I came closer, I spotted what appeared to be Rusty Patches! I thought he was gonna set up shop in the other location, but looks like he set up shop over here. What you doing here, Patches? Oh well, it, it's been a long while. Yes. It's me, Patches the Untethered. I'm still in business, if you can believe it. Now I'm my only supplier, so I haven't got much. But everything here is top notch. Patches Emporium, now open in Rea Lucaria. Very well. Let's see what you got. Actually, ooh, speaking of... By the way, uh, have you met that girl, Raya? She's no. She's a strange one, but I believe she was in need of help. Not that it's any of my business, but if she rings your bell, why not lend her an ear? Who's Raya? Or what do they call it? Rhea? You're making your way to the Erd Tree, no? Well... Uh, I heard something that might help. A special means of reaching your destination. Have you ever seen an Iron Virgin? The clunky contraptions are whirlwinds of sickles and spiked wheels. But long ago, they were endowed with a spell of transposition. And get this, a surviving virgin sits at the bottom of the big water wheel in the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Its transpositional powers Fully intact. So right, if you get caught in it on purpose, it'll chuck you out straight at the base of the Erd Tree. Or so I'm told. <laughs> Interesting. Oh yeah. Great story, isn't it? I'll tell you as many times as you like. There's a surviving Iron Virgin at the point Okay. I <laughs> so I just have to get to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria get to the bottom of it and then do the thing. Margit's Shackle. Briefly binds Margit, once in prison, to Earth. What? A fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. And these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under the strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power enough to trap the once-bound Margit on Earth, if only for a short time. Something tells me I'm gonna need that. Grace Mimic, a fetish, a f a fetish indicating the guidance of Grace. Craftable item similar to Grace, this fetish draws rays guiding the way, only without any sense of order. Useful as a last resort for those who have lost their way, or for use by those who believe that unrefined guidance will lead to truer encounters. Interesting. What the hell? Uh, Missionary's Cookbook 2, Scripstone, Grace Mimic. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. There's a horse crest wooden shield. Which is not particularly impressive. 
We got the S talk. We got the parrying dagger. We have a stone sword key. We have some fan daggers and a glass shard, which we already had, I think. So nothing particularly important from Patches here. But thank you very much for the info, Patches. So now we know. If we get to the Academy of Raya Lucaria... Interesting, this one goes here and then it goes there. Kind of interested in more islands. Ooh! Did I get that one to work or no? I don't remember. Let's take just a quick little look-see. See if anything happens. Oh! It looks like it is a nighttime thing. So let's follow this guy and see where he leads us. Oh, there's an item over there. And that's one of those big land octopuses. I had to kill one to go meet up with Patches. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting wabbits. Really, dude? You're gonna go right through the big chonker? I don't want to have to deal with that. I will steer well clear of it. Path doesn't appear to disappear. Which is good. Look at you skulking about in the night. Skulking about in the dead of night. Wait, what are those? They don't look particularly kind. They look- oh, it's a beastman. Which reminds me, there's that- there's that giant beastman that we never went to kill. We should at some point get back to it. I can't believe I just completely neglected that. But then again, I've recently realized that the... I mean, I think I told you guys in, in the recordings that I did yesterday, the game actually scales, so it should still be somewhat challenging. At least I believe it scales. I could be completely wrong or ignoring something, but I think the game scales. At least por portions of the open world definitely scale. You can influence and become more powerful, but... They scream. They scream and I don't want to deal with that. We'll circle around here. He's just taking us on a very dangerous trip across the lake. He's definitely going to take us to a dungeon. It's probably that opening over there. Yep. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, big cave here. Which is a nice little way to start the episode, right? And start going off on a little dungeon adventure. I like those. Alright then. Let's get our lantern out. Lakeside Crystal Cave. Oh, damn, this one's a big one. Gives us an arterial leaf. What have we got here? Oh, damn. Oh, why you gotta be doing that? Of course. Happy with yourself? Little monkey. Small monkey. Who's this? Oh, another monkey. 
Monkeys everywhere! I mean, they're not really monkeys, they're demi-humans, but whatever. Wonder if he was, like, studying the brush to figure out how to be more effective at disguising himself. Oh. You missed your grab, you missed your grab, you missed it. And now you're dead, and now you're dead, 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 dead. What do we got here? Hefty beast bone. This is going to be a particularly tricky cave to explore uh, without a torch. I might have to pop up a torch so that I can get a better look at certain things. Let's go ahead and get that. Yeah, because the lantern light is not is just not enough when you're trying to explore this. I love how he buffed himself up just to go ahead and die. Oh, that's a little bit of a bigger one. What's up? What's up, son? Is that the best you got? <laughs> Whatever. Big, ugly, monkey. Reject the Elden Ring. Return to Monkey. What do we got here? Nothing? This place appears to be just like riddled with caves and sub-caves and... Oh, that is definitely not a trap. How could it be? Can't even see that properly. Is that one of those big rat dudes? It is. See, I knew you were there. I could smell you. You ugly bastard. See, I want to counter you because then I get health back. Go on. Bring it. What? Did I break your concentration? Good, get ready for more. Because I ain't done. Oh, I mean, I wasn't done, but I guess you were. There's still more of them, though. There he is, one of the tiny ones. One of the little stabby stabby ones. Look at him go. Bad monkey. And I think that is all of them. This is a nice place you got here. You got yourself a nice place around here now, don't you? Yeah, you do. Wait, are those... These almost look like shells. I was like, are those shells? What the hell? Okay. Spear talisman. This seems important. Enhances counterattacks unique to thrusting weapons. Talisman depicting a spear and a soldier enhances the counterattacks that are unique to thrusting weapons. Hmm. That is nice if I was using a spear weapon, but I'm not. Alrighty then. Let's go this way. Uh, I don't want to fall down. That doesn't seem like a good idea. But I guess I have to. This is gonna hurt, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna hurt, because this, th this floor is gonna break, watch. Color me surprised. I expected one of them to break. Uh, is that too high? Oh. Guess we'll just have to find out now, won't we? Did I take damage? What's at the bottom of the cave? What's at the bottom of the crystal cave? That looks like a death drop. No. Well, yes. But we can get there. Wait. Crystal snails? 
Ah! What do you guys see? It's distant relatives? Stop it! Well, at least these ones don't do... These ones don't really do curse damage, so there's that. Crystal Cave Moss. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Yep. You can't let even one of them live. They're too dangerous to be left alive. Anyway, considering that this feels like the main progression path, let's actually go to the other side first. What do we got here? We go this way. Oh, I go this way. Oh, no, wait. This is where I came from. Oh, there's only one path forward? I thought there was like two for some reason. One of these days, man. One of these days. So that's where we came from. And it looks like there's only one path forward. Never mind. For some reason, I got the idea that there were two of them. Do, 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 do. Here we go. What have we got down to show? Grab that and that. Okay. No, wait, what? Did I turn myself around again? No, wait. No, wait, we came from here. And the other one's a little bit further down. It's just it looks exactly like the same one that we were at. This is so weird. It looks like a carbon copy of the location that we were just at. So I was like, wait, what? This cave is throwing me for a loop. Yeah, but it's a different location. So where can I drop? Looks like we can drop over there. This way. And of course, with all those bodies there, you know that the second- Is there a stat- a stake? No, there's no stake. I bet you when I get down to the ground floor, there's gonna be a stake. Watch. No stake. Smithing stone four. Smithing stone two. Lump of flesh. I'm surprised that there's no stake. I'd expect the stake of Marika and a boss to just show up. That's not very nice, is it? These goddamn snails are greedy bastards, aren't they? But I killed you already! He's gonna kill me. Ooh, this is not good. There's no stake. What? So this is an old school one, huh? Wait, I keep forgetting, like, I have- Oh, right! For starters, I have this. And now... Come on, come on, come on, get his attention just for a little bit. There you go. I have this as well. Ha ha ha! Got him with the poison. What in the hell? I'm playing way too defensive and it's gonna cost me. Okay.
I know that I have a much easier time with him when it was in the jail. Probably has something to do with the fact that this one's different. Oh, you brick bastard. So how's this gonna work now? Because there was no stake of Marika, so that means we just start from scratch. Good god, that blows. Gotta love poison. Cerulean Am Amber Medallion. What do we got here? Raises maximum FP. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, is this where we came from? Or is this where we're going? I want to say this is where we're going. We came from over there. Yep. Yep, yep. Not too shabby on the second try. I'll take that. Wait, what? This is exactly, well, not exactly, but it was one of the places I wanted to come to. Is this Rhea? Foul tarnished. What do you want? Why do you call I me foul? I told hearing brute that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? I told the all-hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion. Or have you come to take more from me? Was my other half not enough? I have no idea what you're talking about, lady. I don't even know who you are. I don't even know who you are, lady. Runark. I haven't been using those all that much. I really should. They make you way more powerful. I told you that I possess or have you okay. my other half. I think she's she doesn't want to talk to us at all. Very well. That's fair enough. Uh bu -bu 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 -bu. Okay. Can we level up? No, that's fine. We're just gonna stay here? I told you that I possess or have Who's the all-hearing brute? And where can I even go from here? Because, like, in a way, this is one of the places I wanted to come to because I was hoping this would grant me access to this. But doesn't seem like it. Yep, this is still just a death drop. Where that they would give you a... Whether they would give you, like, um, a side of grace here. He's probably an important NPC. Okay. 
Okay, well, I can't really figure out if I'm supposed to do anything here or not. I guess there's this thing, but there's nothing to go from here. I'm guessing that potentially she has something cool for people that want to play with Bo, because she's got a quiver in her back. So it's like if you want to, you know, take a chance and murder in her and getting like a cool bow thing, that might be a thing, but am I able to climb this? <gasps> oh god. No! no! Ah, that's not intended. They don't want you going up there. Uh, I don't think I could make my way up to where I want to. There doesn't appear to be anywhere to drop except those rocks, but I... I don't think that's valid. Like, it almost seems like you can drop there. But I think we'll die. But then again, there's a bonfire right here, so who cares? I'll take a swing at it. Yep. Figured that would be the case. I just had to be sure, you know? I just had to be sure. Now you know. Don't do what I did. You don't have to do it. See? I'm, I'm just a nice guy like that. I just want to make sure that you guys get... Get value. Right? I told you that I will help you. Okay, let's go get our runes and let's get out of here. I'm a little bit... I don't know, it feels weird because like I, I thought I had figured out something that I would be able to go through here. But not really. I'd like to know who the all-hearing brute is. I guess I probably haven't met them yet. Okay. Yeah, there doesn't appear there doesn't appear to be anything here. Wait. Can I climb up through there? Uh, it's still still not to where I want to go because it would still just be like up here and we've been up here. It's not really that big of a deal. I don't believe I've explored this particular ruin, so we're going to be exploring that. Also, I can get rid of this thing. What your boy's doing here? Was one of the tiny people here, too? I think I saw one of them. Oh, damn. This place got, like, a nasty, bulbous growth. What is it with this game and bleeding? This might as well be Bloodborne at this point. Considering how powerful bleeding is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord! See ya, kid. I kind of want to swap back from poison back to the... The roars. Because, like... Vare! Ah, there you are. You're one you of them. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table home. What was your impression? They didn't seem right. Aha, your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up. You see, the words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Now on that we can agree. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. Yep, I like Vari. But when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted. Their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love. For 
for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. Oh, God. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Lambkin? Although, so their justification for PvP in Elden Ring is that when you invade, you're preventing other tarnished from following the Golden Order. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. I agree, but I don't like my loyalties sure placed with you. Quite Be sure What'd you say? I'm quite certain. Okay. Can you even do that in... I don't think you can do that in offline mode, right? I don't think anything will happen. But I am curious now. Yeah, just like I thought, you can't even use it. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 12. This game's so friggin' huge. I'm not gonna be able to do guides for this. <laughs> you crazy! You crazy! You nuts! Uh, let's take a look. See where the where the hell is it? The cookbooks. Why am I so goddamn blind when it comes to these things? It's so frustrating. You guys have no idea. It's like you can make fun of it, but just know it is frustrating as hell. There we go. Nomadic Warrior Cookbook 12. Cursed Blood Pot. Makes sense. Cursed Blood. What do you call this place? Rose Church. So this would be like your PvP hub, kind of. Oh, that's just for flasks. Really cool looking place, though. I liked it. Let's see what else can we explore in this lake. Have I done this one, Temple Quarter? I think I have. Yeah, I think I've gotten the item from Temple Quarter. So it's like, we should do this eventually, but what I wanted to do next is this boss over here. I believe that it's got a stake next to it. How much... We've got 11,000. It'd be good if I got enough to, like, a level up. Do at least one level up. And I do want to swap things over for a... For, um... A, a different Ash of War. A screaming Ash of War. Rah! Lyurnia of the Lakes. Ashes of War. We shall swap you. Or a war cry. Does it say that which ones are like roars? Because I know that this one's a roar. Right? It, it should tell you which ones are roars and which ones are not. But yeah, we're going to go for this. We're going to go for heavy. I'm wondering if it actually says in the inventory which ones classify as roars. Because I would definitely expect this one to classify. We, we'll call that one the Dwarven Battle Cry. Uh, oh, crap. It's not... I can't equip it now, so I don't know. I'm kind of curious about this Ground Slam. Like, is this just really just a small butt stomp? I can't believe I didn't do this one the second I got it. I don't think I got it that long ago. Did I? I don't know. Might have been like a million episodes ago by now. But I just want to see it. <laughs> it's totally the small butt slam. <laughs> this is probably great for PvP. Just be like, eat the entirety of my crotch. 
I'm not interested though. I'm not interested. I want I want the um <laughs> I want the war cry. Let's go beat up on the dragon dude that uh we left behind the other day. Which wait, why is there why is there a marker somewhere? I always end up putting markers unintentionally for some reason. Anyway, let's actually put a marker here. There. Let's see if he even has like- Oh crap, 11,000 souls? That's a lot. Should I kill our Latin friend over here? Oh, he spewed poison. You bastard. How dare you. How damn dare you. Oh no, I didn't replace the Ash of War. Hey, yeah! Well, that doesn't do anything. And I'm gonna die. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I guess I deserve that. I do deserve that, I'll be honest. I mean, I basically picked a fight with the lead singer of the band. They're a very edgy band, very emo. We still have the lead singer there. Come on, come get some. Hey, yeah! Wouldn't it be hilarious if I actually landed on top of one of them? you get get a seat just get a seat he thought he was smart almost had me almost had me but not quite ooh they have golden runes that's why they're so smart it's the golden runes we got an arterial leaf out of that. Not really worth. Not really worth. So, how am I gonna go about handling my business here? Because, like, I don't want to fight him before I use those souls that I have. And in another way, I also don't want to use those souls because I've been putting points into faith and that was disappointing. I, I probably have to respec at some point here. Because, like, I've put too many points into faith. Uh, let's go ahead and, I don't know, give me like 20 of these, I guess. 20 of these would be like, what, 4,000? I think it'd be like 4,000, right? Yep. Would you look at that? It's like I'm smart. I can do maths. I can do the maths. Um. Let's go for more Vigor. Oh, Vigor doesn't really help me much. I just I just want more damage, dude. Just give me damage. Give me deeps. I need more deeps, man. I need to find a crafting recipe for rune arcs. I'll leave out that's even a thing. Okay. Now it's time to go lose these 2,000 runes that we have here. We're going to go fight that big dragon. What's up with the lobsters over there? I'm sorry, let me just check something here. Y'all got any caves around here? Is that why you got these lobsters here? No. Why are there so many friggin' lobsters here? What's so special about this place? I also got riders. Huh? I guess those lobsters are just chilling on the banks. Hi. Smara, Glenstone Dragon.
Oof. So it's the same thing as a gill. It's just a different type of damage. Oh damn, this is hard to use without lock on. Really?
on horseback, baby! That's what's up. That's two dragon hearts. No dragon to save you now. Dragon's dead. We got his ass. I'm actually considering going to perform the dragon ceremonies. I thought I killed that thing. Didn't I kill that thing with a ballista? Pretty oh no, this must be a different one. I seem to remember though, I got this thing. Yeah, it's this exact one. I killed this with a ballista. What the hell is going on? I killed you already. With one of these. But I guess it didn't take. Well, we'll make sure it takes this time. Don't you worry about that. Really? <laughs> Wait, what? I get nothing? Why does he respawn then? What the hell? That's not particularly fair now, is it? Uh whatever. Anyways, we ended up going back to poison for the dragon specifically. I feel like for... Uh, you know, that's one of the advantages of this particular system, right? Depending on what you're doing, you you use different things. Eh, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and do some dragon communion. Not exactly sure what we're going to be getting. I'm assuming one of them is that roar, but it's like the dragon stuff... I don't know, might be good. Let's figure out. Let's see if I can even use the damn things. Hey. Ritual of Dragon Communion. Oh, you get to pick. These require too much faith. So there's Dragon Fire, channels Dragon to spew flame breath. There's Dragon Claw, channels Dragon to rend foes with Dragon Claws. And there's Dragon Maw, channels Dragon to bite foes before caster. These seem pretty powerful, if you got the juice for them, which we don't. And I'm not going to be putting any juice into our spells, at least not yet, because I haven't unlocked, uh... I haven't unlocked... Respecking. But hey, we killed that dragon, we killed that dragon real good. And uh, maybe next time we'll go here. Or, maybe I'll change my mind and I'll go here instead. As a matter of fact, I'm feeling very tempted to going here. We might be exploring the... No, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something a little bit more... You know, because it's just like, hey, look, the guidance of grace, it goes over here. And I'm just like, shh, miss me with that. Hey, look, the guidance of grace goes over here. I guess I'll go back down here. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I'm enjoying just like playing it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Hit the like button if you're enjoying it. Subscribe. Bell notification icon if you want to stay up to date. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.